going to be looking at George Seurat. George Seurat was a pointillism painter, and we'll talk about that in just a second. He was born in 1859, which is about 159 years ago, and he would have painted this painting here. This is one of his most famous paintings here. And if we look at it closely, you can see that he did it with a bunch of little dots. Now, this is a really, really big painting. Um, it's bigger than me. And he did this by painting a whole bunch of little dots. We're going to be using the same subject matter, which is our apple. It's a still life. And we're going to be drawing it. And then we're going to be using pointillism to, to create it. Now, I'm going to draw it very softly, and you need to too, because we're going to be we're going to be drawing or coloring it with pointillism, which means that it's going to have a bunch of dots. I don't want to be able to see these lines, but it is good to have a guide to see where you're going. I'm doing it pretty quickly. Um, I want you to take a little bit more time than I am, but for the sake of the video, I'm trying to make this quick. All right, now let's get started. We're going to be using markers to do this. And markers are kind of limited on the colors that you can get, uh, but hopefully we have enough colors to, to get us started anyway. I'm starting off with the lightest colors that I see in the apple. And the lightest colors that I see is a yellowish color. I know this isn't really yellow, it's more of uh, a dulled down yellowish orange, but the best, this is what we've got. So we're gonna be putting in dots. I'm gonna start here where that yellow is. Now, notice that I'm not jamming down, I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just softly pressing dots. And if you look closely, they're dots. I'm not coloring with it. I don't wanna see anyone coloring. If you're coloring, you're gonna to have to start over. This is a test to see if we can do pointillism. I see that there's yellow over here as well, and even yellow right here, and then probably a streak of it coming down here. So I'm gonna be putting those pointillisms. Notice that I'm not pressing down hard. If you mess up my markers by pressing down hard, then you're not gonna to get to do this project. You're gonna to have to sit on the wall. So I'm going to come in and I'm gonna start putting some orange down, because there is quite a bit of orange in here. Uh, and even here where the yellow is, there's, it's almost more orange than it is yellow, but I don't have that color in markers. So this is what I'm going to deal with. Once again, I'm not pressing down hard. I'm doing this nice and soft. Uh, it's going to take a lot of time to make the apple complete doing pointillism, but that's what we've got to do. I'm going to go ahead and mark out an area where my white highlights are. I see that the light's hitting it right here, and I see that the light is hitting it right below that, and just a streak here. And then over here as well, I see that the white's hitting it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move to my lighter red. I want to use the light red first, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting in red dots. Now, they don't need to be lines of dots. They need to be somewhat random um, in where I'm placing them, but I do want to follow in this direction here. I can't stress it enough that I'm not pressing down hard. I'm pressing down nice and soft so I don't mess up this marker. I'm not coloring. It's going to take time. I'm going around this white highlight here because that's going to be white in the very end. Now this will take quite a bit of time to finish. Just be patient with it. This is what we're going to be doing. So take your time. Going around that white highlight. I'm not going on top of these orange and yellow spots because those are going to be an orangish yellow. And of course, I'll do brown dots and black dots for the stem. I'm going to work over here just on this half for now so that we can get finished with this video. I'm going to come in with a different red, a different colored red. You can see that it's quite a bit different. I'm going to start putting in some different reds in here as well. I don't want to use the same red the whole time. I want to come in with different reds. I'm just gonna work on this section here so that we can finish this video. 
hopefully that this section can look close to finish. I'm actually gonna come in with a little bit of a purple uh, down here at the bottom because purple's darker than red and it will still give a nice illusion. So down here at the bottom, coming in here and I see that it's really dark right here. So I'm gonna come in with a little bit of purple right there. And then I'm even going to put in a little bit of purple where my shadow is. I see that my shadow's right here and then comes around here. So I'm going to make my shadow here. And my shadow's gonna be somewhat purple. It's not gonna be completely purple. I am gonna come with a black and then even a gray uh, for this. But when it's done, I'll, I'll have many different colors. So here's my brown. I'm gonna go ahead and do my stem here. And I'll go back in with some black for my brown on my stem as well. Okay, now that you have the idea, I know mine's not finished, but you have the idea of what we're doing. Remember, we're just using dots. We're not using um, coloring. We're just using dots. They're gonna be different color dots, different reds. You can see that there's different reds in here. And you're gonna have to get creative with some of the colors because you might not have all the colors that you physically see in the apple. All right, this is painting like George Sherratt using pointillism. Remember that this is pointillism. That's what this art style is called. And that's what we're creating today. You may start.